Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said this to the world. Go. What the report concludes is that based on the totality of the harm that's been done to children, to women, to men who are caught in this crossfire Hamas is making, uh, it's reasonable to conclude that there are instances where Israel has acted in ways that are not consistent with international humanitarian law. Now, there was so much backlash against Blinken um, that the White House panicked. That's pretty much what happens over there. So yesterday, uh, during a press briefing, they put out the guy who's really running this show. Biden's not running this Israel Gaza thing, and either is Blinken. It's a guy named Jake Sullivan, who is the national security advisor. He is behind what's happening over there. Here's what he said. Go. We believe Israel can and must do more to ensure the protection and well-being of innocent civilians. We do not believe what is happening in Gaza is a genocide. We have been firmly on record rejecting that proposition. So to use a cliche, he's walking it back now. So Blinken says, uh, acted in ways not consistent with international humanitarian law that will get you in The Hague charged with a war crime. If that's true, that's what it'll get you. You go over to Holland. But then one day later, national security, oh, no, 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 no. No genocide, none of that, no war crimes. Now, this is just another example of a White House that has no consistent message about anything. All right, they just don't. So you want four more years of that? You can have a world on fire if you have four more years of this. So what is the solution over there? There isn't any. I'm sorry, I gotta tell you the truth. You hear two state solution. All right, that's what Great Britain wanted when it ceded the land to the Jews. They wanted Israel and they wanted a Palestinian country. Palestinian country has never evolved. Why? Because the people over there aren't run. They're not, they're not run by an elected government. They're run by terrorists. Hamas, Hezbollah, whatever it may be. Al-Qaeda, ISIS, they're all floating around there. There's no central government. Remember Yasser Arafat? Remember him? He, w- he got all the ink with Jimmy Carter and all these other people. Yasser's come over in a headdress. Yasser stole hundreds of millions of dollars. I think his wife's still alive in France, living large over there. That's all that Yasser did. He was a gangster. And he was directing what was happening with the Palestinians. So now it's Hamas and Hezbollah. Hamas in Gaza, Hezbollah in the West Bank. They call the shots. There's no state. It's not like you pay taxes. You do because the terrorists come and say, give me money. But there's not a form. There's nothing. So you can't have a two state solution when there's only one state. That's Israel. Thank you for watching. To view full episodes of the No Spin News anytime, sign up to become a BillOReilly.com premium or concierge member today.